Hey, my MTS crew. Thank you for joining me again for another video. I just want to let you all know that I appreciate y'all, Sister Pam and yes. I, and we thank you for dropping in. Yes. We have uh, our favorite, one of our favorite uh, meals we're going to prepare today. We're going to prepare Southern Oven Fried Fish Sandwich, and which is delicious, and yes. sweet potato fries. And we're going to mm. oven fry the sweet potato fries and the whitey fish sandwich. We're going to uh, prepare those, and we're going to oven fry them in the refrigerator. And we're going to also make my homemade ginger um, coleslaw, which is uh, absolutely delicious. Yes. And so we're going to make that. So let's go ahead and get started because we have to uh, uh, get fish prepared to go in the oven and our french fries, okay? Okay. Okay. We're going to start by cutting our lettuce, our, our cabbage. <laughs> We're going to start by cutting our cabbage. I'm not going to make a whole lot because this is going on top of the um, fish sandwich. So we're not going to eat this as a standalone um salad coleslaw is going on top of the fish salad the fish sandwich so I want it kind of chunky y'all not grated up real small like you may find at um you know some of the stores that sell chicken and how they have theirs grated up really small And I didn't want to grate it at all. I wanted it kind of big. Okay. You doing okay today, Sister Pam? Yes, doing fine. Doing fine. <laughs> okay. God is good. Yes, he is all the time. He graced us with another day. Yes, he did. We have no choice. But to thank him. That's right. That's right. Thank him anyway. Okay. This is about how I want this. Now, a lot of people like theirs really thin. I don't. So we're going to put it in our bowl. And push this to the side, and we're going to get ready to make our dressing. Okay. Okay. Here's our cabbage. It's already been cleaned and nice and white and you also I, I chose a cabbage without the green leaves on there but if you want to make a prettier coleslaw go ahead and use your green leaves okay okay we're going to start off with about Four big tablespoons of mayo. Let's do a little more because we want a wet dressing. A little bit more. So maybe about four and a half. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the noise. Okay. This is two, I'm sorry, that's going somewhere else. This is a third cup of, let's see, I'm trying to see. Oh, this is a half a cup of sugar. A third cup 
of vinegar. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. A teaspoon of fresh ginger. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. And a little garlic. And what we're going to do, we're going to stir this until you really don't. Oh, let's do maybe that's about a half a teaspoon of garlic. Okay. Um, do we have, give me the, yeah, give me the mustard. Take the spicy mustard. We're gonna add some spicy mustard to this. And you want to make sure you get all of your um, sugars and all that stuff kind of marinating in there. Okay. We're gonna use a teaspoon of brown mustard. That's about a teaspoonful. Okay. Now I have a spoon so we can taste it. Okay. And it's always good to taste because you put the salt and pepper in here to your taste. So it's always good to taste. Let's taste and see it. Mm, cut that open. That is delicious. So I'm going to sprinkle one half of a fresh lemon in here. Okay. Yeah, I have a glove too. So. There's your coleslaw dressing. I think I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put maybe one more tablespoon of miracle whip in here. Okay. One more tablespoon because I want it wet. Okay, get all that going. Your ginger, your black pepper, your salt, your uh, brown mustard. All of that goodness. I have a small spatula. And y'all, I appreciate sister because she really, really helps help me out in the kitchen and she helps me out doing she helped me out doing everything and I really love her and I appreciate her and I thank God for putting her in my life love her she said she bowed in tears bowed in tears don't cry okay. this is two grated carrots in there Okay. Let's get this stirred up a little bit. And I still sprinkle, I still sprinkle maybe a third of a teaspoon of salt in here. Even though I put a little bit in there. Okay. Now we're going to add the sauce to this coleslaw. And this is my recipe 
and adding ginger to the coleslaw it just gives the coleslaw such a wonderful flavor okay and if you want your coleslaw a little wetter go for it okay but this is how I want mine because this is going on top of the fish salad now, while we get everything else ready, we're going to throw this in the refrigerator and let it cool. And I'll, I'm going to show you how we're going to get ready to oven fry this fish. Okay, y'all, I'm getting my pan ready. Use a brush or whatever, or a paper towel, and put you some oil. I prefer grapeseed oil. And... I just took the paper towel with the oil on it and I'm going to grease my pan, okay? And we're gonna layer the fish in the pan, all right? Here's my fish. Now this season, let me see, this is Xanaran fish seasoning. I love this fish seasoning because you do not have to put a whole lot of seasoning on this. So watch it when you use this because it's got enough salt in it. So what I usually do is I pepper my fish. Okay. I uh, salt when I put a little pepper on my fish and that's about it and these are just whitey strips these make good sandwiches y'all okay. Okay. here's my xanaran And I lightly dust it. And this is, you can use uh, this recipe. You can use salmon, uh, flounder, any kind of fish, catfish, any kind, skin side down. inside down so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish uh, get my fish ready and after that we're gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm gonna do the fries okay fish is ready for the oven okay we're getting ready to put the fries in all of your choice you can use a baking brush to do this, but I'm just doing it with this paper towel. And these potatoes, what we did, we left the, the peeling on. We like the peeling on. And this is how they look, our sweet potato fries. And we just get them all in the pan. Try not to have them stacked on top of each other. And these are really going to be some sweet fries because they're dark. The darker the potato, the better, the sweeter the fries. Okay. So let's kind of get them where they are cooked. We're going to add another little pan for these. And I take just a little bit of salt, not much, and just sprinkle them over the fries. And what's really good, if you have cracked peppercorns to put on there. So these are going in the oven. 
and we're going to be plating up our sandwich. Okay, y'all, while we're waiting on our fish and our fries to come out of the oven, now you know Sister Pam and I have got to have us something to drink. Yes. So we're going to do uh, raspberry lemonade. Y'all, go to these different stores and find you a good brand. Of, how much was this lemonade? Two. One seventy nine. This is a raspberry lemonade, and it was only one, raspberry. No, it's raspberry. See, raspberry lemonade. And um, you can find these in your stores or whatever. And, you know, you don't have to get the most expensive brand. Like I say, I love the, what's that, Simply Fresh mm -hmm, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is really good. So we're going to make our raspberry lemonade with the twist. Now, I know we did put a little bit of ginger in our coleslaw. But I'm going to put a little bit of ginger in this. So this is going to be a raspberry lemonade with a twist of ginger okay so we already have our ice in okay. we have some more washed uh, raspberries I'm gonna put them in there and we're gonna try to make this like a slush okay. open that and we're gonna we grated some ginger. We're going to put that grated ginger in there. Y'all, I love ginger. Ginger has a lot of healing properties to it. So I would suggest that you um, cook with ginger. Okay. Let's get that all going in there. Smell good. Get us a little more ice, sis. I'm going to let sis get a little more ice because we're going to make some for the whole family. Every time we make it, everybody's asking, you know, why we didn't make them some. So we're going to do a little bit more ice in here. A little bit more ginger. I mean, well, ginger is fine. A little bit more lemonade we put in there. A little bit more ice because I want to make this thick. You ready to let it go? Let it whip, sister. Whip, Okay, y'all, our drinks are finished blending. We're going to line these. I put a little bit more ice in here. And we're going to line these up with some um, sliced oranges. I love fruity, fruity drinks. What about some lime? Raspberries. We're going to squeeze a little bit more lemon in there. Okay. And we're going to take it off and pour our drink. Look at that, y'all. It's refreshing. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that. Put those raspberries in there. Y'all, we ready to drink. And I usually take, give me a spoon. I usually take a spoon and kind of stir a little bit. And the fruit, some of the fruit will kind of float to the top sometimes. But if not, we know how to get it out. Okay. 
you got your yes, yes, it does. Such a stir. Mm hmm. Can you taste that ginger? Yes, yes, love it. Y'all, the ginger give it a refreshing, cool Very. taste. Yes. So remember, lemonade, any choice, raspberry we did. We found some raspberries, whole raspberries on sale. We added those. We added about a whole teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half mm -hmm. of ginger, plenty of ice. And you have a thick drink. Mm. Mm, delicious. Y'all, this is so good with that mm. lime in there. And it's cool as a whole. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I got a head freeze. <laughs> hmm. We getting ready to plate our dinner up. We'll be back, but we had to have something to cool <clears throat> off, y'all. Y'all, the fish is cooking, getting ready to take it out, and the potatoes are browning. We'll be ready in a few minutes to plate this sandwich up. We're getting ready to put this fish sandwich together. This is the fish, golden brown, cooked in the oven. And I decided to use Texas toast today. Toast it. I buttered the toast on top and I just put it in my uh, skillet and kind of browned it on both sides. Okay. I like a little, because I have so much, I have mayo and all of my seasonings in my coleslaw, I'm only going to use a little bit of ketchup. I love ketchup on my fish. A little bit of ketchup. A little bit of mustard to boot. And I love to put a um, little bit of coleslaw down first. Just a little. A little bit of coleslaw down. I wish you could smell this. This mm -hmm. cold sauce smells so good. Okay. We're going to take our fish. These are some big pieces of fish. We're going to cross them up like that. We're going to add tomato. Your onion is optional, y'all. We just like onion. Don't forget about your pickles on there. This is going to be my husband's sandwich, so it's going to be a lot of pickles on here. Pickles on here. And I know that you all didn't think I was going to forget about a little hot sauce. He likes a little hot sauce on his, and which I did forget about it. He wants a spicy sandwich. So he going to get spicy. We're going to add some pepper jack cheese on there. Two slices. Y'all, this is going to be a fat sandwich. Like they're doing in the old days, press that sucker down. A little more of that coleslaw on top. Let it fall off. You can pick it right up with your fork. That's okay. Okay. And with this slice of bread, give me a little ketchup. You don't have to use the ketchup and mustard if you don't want to. This is the way we like it. A little bit of ketchup, a little more mustard. 
And y'all put that hot sauce on there, on the fish, before you put anything on there. My mistake. Okay. Now there is your fish sandwich. Let's plate some fries up with that. Some sweet potato fries. Oh yeah, it's gonna be sloppy now. Uh-uh, this -uh, give me the whole thing. Thank you. Some sweet potato fries. My hands are clean. Get a little bit more. There's that. There is that whitey fish sandwich, y'all. Whitey fish sandwich. Now you can cut this in half, and this would feed two people. But my husband said he wants it just like this. Homemade coleslaw, onion, pepper jack cheese, hot sauce, onion fry, I mean not onion fries, potato fries, baby cucumbers sprinkled with a little light sea salt, which is good. Mm mm. This is that ultimate whitey fish sandwich, y'all. This is it. Be right back. We are done with our dinner, y'all. And my husband is going to enjoy his sandwich. Yes, and it smells good, too. Mm-hmm. We're going to enjoy our raspberry lemonade mm. with a swig of ginger in it. It's got ice chips on top. Well, it's kind of, it's frozen on top like mm -hmm. a slushy, mm -hmm. and on the bottom you have your lemonade, and we have some uh, 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 fresh raspberries in here too. Mm. Delicious, y'all. It's so good. Up there. Can't wait to bite in. I know. I'm gonna make a sandwich for me. This is for my husband, and we're going to chow down. Yes. But you know what? Be good to yourself. And if you be good to yourself, what other choice do you have than to be good to others? Yes. Mm. A whiting fish sandwich with home oven, I'm not going to say home fried, uh, oven cooked sweet potatoes. And it's delicious with um, barbecue. You can buy the barbecue toast, a barbecue bread. You can use any type of bread you want to use. Mm -hmm. And the recipe is going to be in the um, down below for my coleslaw. The coleslaw is delicious. I love coleslaw on a fish sandwich. When I would go to a fish place, I would always order of a fish sandwich and I will order a side of coleslaw and I will put the coleslaw on my sandwich so this is the way we make our sandwich and this is the way we get down we appreciate y'all mm -hmm. big sandwich yes 